To be a uh, modern family, um, everybody loves modern family. Um, <laughs> 11 years, 11 years of modern family. Gracias. Uh, <laughs> Como te amas. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly, I did not know till the two of you were on the show today, Mr. Hart was also in yes. modern family. Yes. Yes, I, I was lucky because I wasn't in that scene. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really like saw him that day. It was Phil Dunphy, but I knew he was there in that episode. Yes. Yeah. And it was great, yeah, it was great to have him in one episode. Uh, <laughs> I was 11 seasons. <laughs> it was, you know, one of my favorite things to do in the whole world because it was like going to work with my family yeah. and it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And that day that he went, I wasn't there, yeah. so it really doesn't make any difference yeah. in my life. <laughs> <laughs> After 11 years, it must have been so weird waking up thinking, oh, that's gone, I'm not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, it was heartbreaking. We were all, like, very, very sad because, you know, it's the people you want to see every day and, and you do get separated when you finish. Also, when the day that we ended Modern Family, two weeks later, the pandemic happened. So oh my we God. didn't see each other. Like, really, it was just like, oh, suddenly we don't see each other anymore. It was really hard. But, you know, now we get connected when we can. Everybody's doing their own thing, but every time we can, we connect. Yeah, yeah. there's bound to be yeah. a reunion. I still connect with a lot of them. We, we still, <laughs> yeah, you we still talk. It. Yeah, because they say, well, I don't say it, but they say my episode was one of the best. <laughs> so, Do you like, remember that episode? <laughs> You've helped Paul. You've given him advice on posing for pictures on red carpets. <laughs> you have. I, know, I, we, I, I, I think it only works for men. I can't remember what the advice is. Oh, can you not? No. Can you? I, I, I use it every single time. <laughs> we'll demonstrate that in a moment. Yes. Well, I, I can describe it in... Uh, the first time I met Andrew was we did a uh, charity it's, comedy it's sketch. sketch. Comedy sketch, yeah, yeah. And... It was before normal people came out and I was petrified of people taking photos on a red carpet. And I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my hands. Where do I put my feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Andrew was like, you walk up to the mark, you walk past the mark, you rock back onto your left foot and you kind of just lean back. <laughs> oh! Yeah. God, I wish I followed my own one advice. One hand. One hand. Yeah, well, you do the... the sort of creepy little hand in the... In the, in the... Yeah. yeah, creepy. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's see how, how Paul is doing as a pupil. Uh, Here's yeah. Andrew giving the classic... Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, there he ah. ah. so, is. Yeah. So it's Very one nice. hand in, in mint. Let's see how Paul's oh. doing. Very <laughs> good! <laughs> Beautiful. Now, now that, that's, that's a more of a good. casual look. Now let's go with black tie. Let's see how they're doing in black tie. Yeah. Here's, here's Andrew. Now, oh, very good. Now, very, <laughs> Andrew's only managed to squeeze four fingers in. <laughs> mm -hmm. No more. Yeah. Let's see. I think you'll be very pleased with Paul in this one. Full fist. Oh, full <laughs> fist. <laughs> yeah. Well done. And, uh, <laughs> we've got one more. There, there are loads of these. There's definitely uh, Look uh, at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, you may be annoyed with Paul here because he's gone a bit rogue. What's that about? <laughs> That's a mistake. <laughs> that I, I, I stray from the game. <laughs> <plan. laughs> <laughs> Look how big my hand looks. I tell the story, I say that I was in bed and my eyes like popped open, but I sleep with my eyes open, so they just sort of widened slightly. Sorry, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Stop the bus. Whoa. Why have we done the rest of the show and not started with this Sorry. bit? <laughs> I sleep with my eyes open. Really? Yeah. How do you not, like, not like Gandalf. Um, not like, <laughs> not like, because Gandalf sleeps with his eyes open. Do you know that? Of course he does. Yeah, of course no, he no, does. No, no, no. Leave him alone, he's eight to five. Is, um, he, is he doing it at this moment? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So but, so, no, 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 we need to know more about this. Oh, sorry, I, I don't know what else there is to say. I think my eyes have. It, not, not like, mostly it's not fully, it's usually just like. <laughs> oh, so it's nothing weird then. <laughs> Have you always slept with your eyes? Yeah, right yeah, yeah, since I was because a baby. Like, as a, I was a kid, baby. I mean, I've got two yeah. small kids. If I went in the room and they were just sleeping like that, looking at me, yeah. I'd be doing my, an exercise. My mum says that I used to do it as a baby and she was a bit freaked out by it, but yeah. she just sort of, you know, looked, she was like, it's probably fine. So <laughs> is it easier? Do we have to try and shut our eyes? Yeah, I actually find it really hard to close my eyes fully. I feel like my eyelids aren't big enough for my eyeballs. So, like, if I do that, I'm, like, really actively thinking about it. Like, if I'm just relaxed, I'm sort of like... <laughs> do you... Uh, uh, 
Oh I have my green God. dry Nick. eyes. Huh? <laughs> what are we doing here? We should be making a Channel 5 documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The woman who doesn't blink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, sorry, do I, you I have a very lively dream. Huh? Um, I don't remember my dreams, Ian, actually. Um, no. Too busy looking at a bedroom yeah, ceiling. Yeah, that needs painting. Um, if someone did that, if you say fell asleep on a yeah. train, would you like? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't see anything. Like my vision is, my vision is still impaired when yeah. I'm sleeping, but I. I actually have very little information for you about this condition. <laughs> um, it's, quite a, it's quite a short documentary. Yeah. If you have been affected by any of the issues <laughs> raised here tonight, please call Graham North. That is fascinating. Yeah. 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 How to chop and how to prep. Mostly, it was the art of. Plating up, do you know what I mean? So it looks... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's the artistry of, of great chefs, That's I think. That's when they wipe it, isn't it, with a bit of a... Yeah, a tea towel. that little, yeah, little one the, the bit of the goo. And they do the and sort of... Oh, the shoe. Not yeah. the goo, the, the shoe. The, the, <laughs> but it is a form of goo, isn't it? Well, it's, it's a, a jus, jus, right? a jus is a goo. No, a jus is not a goo. A goo is not a jus. A jus is a jus. I would say a jus, within the set goo, is a subset jus. But how can a jus... get all weirdy with me. How can a jus be a goo when a goo is not a jus? Because you can have more than one word for the same thing. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, I think... You wouldn't say to a chef, can I have that goo on my plate? No, I wouldn't say that. Because he'd slap you. Yeah, well, no, exactly. They're, they're, yeah. they're famously violent. Take it outside, man. But yeah. I would tell you... Yeah. Him and have that. You're going to have no, that. No, but in... Oh, what, me or him? Uh, huh? Both of you. I would... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would go with the jus. I Thank would, you very I much. See, yeah. Carly's told you, and I'll be great. Uh, so yeah. yes. <laughs> she has spoken. <laughs> You've been told. Because you, or you like learning new instruments. Yes. So I think you've got a new one with you. I do, what, actually. What, what, I brought what a new this? one with me. Yes. Um, it is. Well, I'll bring it out for you. Oh, yeah. It's um, it's 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 actually a a Turkish instrument. It's called a saz, right? Okay. And uh, it's it's basically a long-necked lute. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And it makes a really kind of beautiful Eastern sound, you know. Love it. So it's got that kind of feel to it. <laughs> they're off. <laughs> they've started the march, they're leaving the studio. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we will follow you. Yeah. Lead us, Bill. Um, I know, but um, it's got a beautiful sort of tone to it. And actually, um, I was going to play something. Because you're here, Bernie, right, I thought I'd do a little arrangement of a song, right, which you wrote with Elton, right, but I don't think you've ever heard it on the Turkish Saz before. Uh, possibly not. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the candle in the wind because we were talking about it earlier on, and I, I just thought it's. Do you know what? Even though this is a, a three-stringed Turkish instrument, it does actually. It's quite versatile. So something like that sounds quite good. Because of that show you did, Daddy? Sort of, yeah, because I did this play called Daddy by uh, this um, uh, writer called Jeremy O'Harris, mm. and it was a, a play about... I, well, about I, was a, I was the daddy. It was about an, an older white man and a younger black uh, man and this sort of intergenerational, uh, interracial relationship sort of in the art world and blah, blah. It was really interesting. It was sort of lots of ideas I thought were really fascinating, things we don't talk about. And but I'd be naked a lot, a lot, a lot, like a lot like on naked, stage, naked, naked, like or with totally. A sock in there. Like meat and you feel naked vegan. anyway as it is being on stage, and then you have no clothes. Oh, I know. Wow. And you like? I, I, and there was this what? You like naked, but like like, <laughs> like totally naked. naked. I know, but like we're, like you have 
you half mass or you like, where you at? Like, what are you, you asking? What are you asking? I mean, you naked, like, are you naked and confident? Are you like... What is the word naked? You're naked, you're naked. Yeah, not really. Like, if I'm, if I, am I naked and not confident? Well... Am I naked and like, but yeah, you if see you're it? Not confident, <laughs> you see if, you're, if you're not confident, we, we don't know your reasons, but okay. I'm sure <laughs> he was confident. Where are you at? Are you, na- like, is it just naked, naked, Alan? Give it That's to naked, me. Naked, naked. All right. I mean, you know, I think we all know if we're, if we're a gentleman who's done lots of uh, naked scenes yeah. and films and things, you kind of, like, try and make it look as okay. good all as right, possible. Good. I, see, thank you. Thank Give you. it a little whack before are we? you come we're, on. We're good. But... We're good. Uh, but... So there's a little quick. You know, we're not too good. There's you don't want to look too good. You don't want to look too good. But... I was playing, I was the daddy character, so I was, and the thing is, I still don't feel as, I don't feel like I'm the age I am, and I was playing this character called Daddy, and I think, so I kind of grew a beard, my beard's, you know, uh, grey and everything, and salt and pepper, so I tried to look older, and then also I was naked, and so, but what was fascinating was the way that people objectified me as an older man, naked. Mm. It, you know, you're kind of, we're used to being objectified all the time, no matter what, as, as people in the public eye. But being objectified about your body when you're in your 50s was quite fascinating. So I guess, I guess that was the sort of germ of this uh, show, wow. and I uh, started uh, thinking about it. I'm okay. not naked in this show, I have to say. Aww. Okay, all right. But I legs do, out, legs out. <laughs> I do, I don't even have a, but I do talk about my testicles. Oh, yeah. fabulous. <laughs> because... I, now you're selling tickets. Well, <laughs> <laughs> because one of the things that... One of the, I talk about different parts of ageing, and I say I, there's no place that I, I feel more my age and feel old as when I go to the dermatologist. And I go to the dermatologist a lot because I'm pale, as you can see, and, you know, I've got moles and things, and... Uh, so I go to the dermatologist to get this mole ma- It's a mole map. He checks my moles in case anything bad's happened. Mm-hmm. And also, I, <laughs> I, um, I... So I was going one time to the dermatologist, and I was in the shower that morning, and I was just sort of having a little check myself, you know, to save him some time. And I was also checking downstairs, because there's an th- organisation that I support in Scotland called Cajones Scotland. A Spanish word. So you were going to show them to them that you had to check yourself? No, because they check because of like you know when you check your boobs for lumps, women yes. check. So it's like to encourage oh. men to check their balls for lumps for uh-huh. testicular cancer. Do you do that? So you should you should everyone should everyone I t- go home tonight and check your balls. Wait till you go home. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was checking my balls and I saw two little like red dots on my, one of my, like little pimples. And I sort of, it was like two, someone had taken a red Sharpie and gone boop, boop. On, and I, and someone may well have done that and I hadn't noticed good. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, anyway, Where's he going with this? So I go to the dermatologist, I'm a bit alarmed. Yes. And I go to the dermatologist and I say, what's, what's, you know, because they have to take your clothes off. I say, what's this? Is it, should I be worried? And he went, Alan, that's nothing to be worried about. That's just a normal part of scrotal aging. <laughs> And I was like, what? And, uh, and scrotal ageing is a thing. And, uh, <laughs> and also, and now because, now because I tell this story, like I tell this story in my show, I'm, I'm kind of doing a bit of my act here, but he's now, my dermatologist likes, he, he's sort of taken me into his scrotal confidence. And he <laughs> tells me about other things that, that happen people. And so there's a thing in dermatologists in, the, in New York, anyway, where some men come and they want to get Botox injected no. into their testicles. Yeah. Hey. Because, like, you know when you put Botox in your head? I don't know if any of you know that. But uh, <laughs> it relaxes the muscles. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they want saggy balls, Sophia. Yeah, they want kind of you know saggy balls, and it's and no judgments uh, about. Graham, will you f- fucking Where? step in? <laughs> <laughs> what is going? What is happening, Graham? <laughs> what is this? Well, you, I, I was interested. Well, Graham, at some point, like as, a, as an older <laughs> man, I was interested. Well, at some point, I was thinking, well, she maybe. Was a, what, uh, Graham? Is at least. <laughs> We should see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some point, we're like, oh, come on, Alan, your right. balls are fine, and get them back on track. Alan's right. going down a track. Here we go. But I'm getting to the punchline. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. And so I don't get this thing. I'm fine with my balls, <laughs> even with their little red dots. Yeah. And and their scrotal aging. But no. The, anyway, so the people who get the injections and the thing, the the process, the the, the procedure. This is called. It's called scrotox. <laughs> <laughs> 
is very good. Thank you. Very good. Stoke off. I like that. And then they shot you to earth.